Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause. How did I do that? It's real simple. Check it out. For this video, we're going to take a look at a short film that I scored about four years ago. The really cool thing about this short is that it was the first dance piece that I actually wrote music for. Traditionally, when you write music for film with dance elements, you write the music in pre-production with a choreographer and with the director. And then the dancers dance to it on screen, and then you repurpose some of the cues in post-production. The different thing about this was that the dances were already shot and made, and I scored to the dance. So that was difficult and challenging because I had to find the dancer's beats and the dancer's movements. But it was really rewarding because I think it worked out great in the end. The other really cool thing about this piece is its instrumentation. I used a lot of traditional orchestration, so violin, viola, cello, and bass. And then I also used tune percussion, like timpani, and then I had some auxiliary instruments, Celeste and Bells. And then um, I had a Fender Rhodes, which actually has bell-like qualities, as well as the Korg MS-20 synthesizer and a lap steel. Now, all these instruments sound odd. It's kind of like a kitchen sink, but they work together really, really well to create this beautiful cinematic atmosphere soundscape. So let's jump right on in and get to work. We're going to talk about orchestration. I used some kind of like I said some interesting instrumentation. I've got lap steel right here. I've got some pianos in this grouping which are as a combination of real Fender Rhodes that a friend let me use for a minute and some piano and then I've got some reverse piano going on here at the end which is really cool. The main kind of piano melody that's, that's echoed with the strings. The string family right here the whole kind of upper and lower tessiture of the strings. I've got harpsichord, I've got a real glockenspiel that I recorded, some Celeste, I've got the MS-20 making some really cool sound design pads, and then finally I have some tuned percussion down here at the bottom. So the opening scene, the opening part of this cue, if you notice there's not a lot really going on. It's just kind of piano and some light strings kind of building so we have two piano parts, we actually have three piano parts, we have the melody, we have some kind of percussive piano part that's kind of playing just a repeated pattern, an ostinato pattern, and then we have the Rhodes playing a pattern by itself. So we have this piano part. As she starts to get her momentum up and her confidence up in the piece, some timpanis kind of come in, some tune percussion. We have a cymbal roll that comes in at the release of her twirl. And so now we're in the second part of this cue, which is the essentially the precipice of the whole film. Notice the bells are accenting what's going on in her dance. And this is what's so cool about this piece, is that I'm timing my music to these hits. So we've got the cymbal roll into the crash, 
the end of her twirl. Right here, there's another one right here. So if you notice, if you're watching your hand movements, the bells are actually playing along with what she's doing. See that right there? Notice how it lands as soon as she finishes her, her routine right there, she lands straight down. It, the, the music breaks down. So we're building to this point and then all the instruments start to fall off. And you can see that in the timeline as well. So notice the drums, the percussion starts to go away and the strings start to die down. And so that's the last part right there. So we, as we go into this dive right here, this drop, I have a cymbal roll. Hit that little sp That ends the percussion. The last note of the cue accents his eyes closing. So in this last little part right here, we've got some really cool textural things going on. We've got essentially like four different pads. All these different little layers with reverbs. And then we've got this reverse piano, which is really cool. And leading us into that ambient section at the end, we have this lap steel layers, which are really, really cool. And the cool thing about this piece is there's so much orchestration going on. The piano and the violins are playing the same part together. The ascending and descending lines, the harps descending, the piano part is ascending, the lap steel is playing all these kind of beautiful, beautiful lyrical phrases in between the spaces. And that's what's so cool about it, writing music in unconventional ways to tell stories. So I hope that was informative. Writing music to picture with a storytelling element of dance is a little more challenging than a traditional score, but it is still completely doable. And I hope this video helped demystify that process. You can click the link above to see previous videos that I've done in this series. Comment below with any questions that you have, or if you have a, an idea or suggestion for a previous video, I would love to get your feedback. But in the meantime, please subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you all next week.